So, I work in the way I work, and uh, I work in layers, probably the way someone might work in Photoshop, I guess, but I've done this way before Photoshop ever existed. Um, I keep my layers because then I can play with them separately and not overload things. So I've got my spider web with a perspective on it. It's kind of hard to see with the curling up. And I have my sacred geometry, which fits exactly to the spider web, which we'll come into understanding later. Right now, you just see layers, and that's fine. But just you know, pay attention to that these layers interlay perfectly for something that's going to come into clarity later on. And then I have my, actually I'll pull off the layers for a sec, my spider lady, Veronica Harmonica. Uh, from the song that this is all to represent and so she's on the spider web and see I can play around with where she fits perfectly and if you want to see I have a spider on a spider web and this is this is my inspiration so if you can imagine when you look at this illustration it's gonna have that same perspective. Clearly she's a little bit bigger. I don't want her so small. I, I need her to be a little more dominant in the picture. But she's probably gonna be something about there. And I'm gonna, in this there's um, sort of a pan pipe harmonica kind of reference. I like the pan pipe better as far as visually. Uh, so she's conjuring here and the way I'm seeing it so far is the pan pipes will be floating like she's just sort of just out of reach of her hand she's not grabbing for them but it's the pan pipes are not even necessarily um, physical it's the hypnotic trance that she's putting on this man uh, who sings the song or who writes the song or has written the song and um, so it's a, a kind of a music of sorts, a trance uh, put on him uh, for this, which is what the song is about. Uh, it's a very jazzy song, um, but hence that aspect of uh, the pan pipes that I'm going to have in there. Okay. Can you play it a little bit of it? Because I think it's... Actually... I don't know. I don't know if it's allowed to be heard. We haven't really... Okay. ...checked. Yeah. You know, so just to be safe. Yeah. Okay, and let people know this is not a tattoo. Although, I guess Yeah, it could this is be, not right? done for a tattoo, as I, I kind of lightly mentioned. This is an illustration for a song that is... has been written, has been performed. It is absolutely amazing. It's a sexy, jazzy song with this female singer that is really, really good. She's awesome. I'm, and I'm pretty picky about things like that. So from the inspiration of the song, I am creating this image that would go on the album cover uh, if it was an album, you know, for uh, a bunch of songs or just the one song. I don't know. Uh, so this... It's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Tomorrow it'll all start coming together, uh, being inked in. It's just going to be black and white and gray tones. Um, the As far as I'm intending, the spider web will be uh, negative space, and in the background will be the dark, shadowy, or black. And somehow this sacred geometry pattern uh, Fibonacci sequence is going to influence, so it won't be just pure black in the background, there'll be a sense of this pattern echoing out as a vibration or a trance uh, in the whole theme or as a part of the whole theme. So there we go.